welcome back to the squad cast. We are now settled. We know which way's up and down. Our vertigo is gone. And we're going to talk about our next set of topics. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, just for Riley's face. And he was just like, again. I'm so, so I just, sorry. I just, I, it's, it's okay. You know, you, this is why you're my arch nemesis forever. We will be at odds. Um, but chat, uh, remember, you can let your voice be heard. Uh, we're going to be talking some Breath of the Wild, my favorite topic of this week, of course. You guys remember Mies? Remember, remember Mies? Remember me Plaza? Who could forget? Yeah, yeah unfortunately. Wait, what do you, whoa, 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 Steve, <laughs> unfortunately, were, did, were you burnt by another me? What happened on Street Pass? Like, what happened here? I, they they ganged up on me. They were, they were saying, <laughs> they were saying all sorts of things. I wasn't happy. never that. got any puzzle pieces. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> or were you one of those people that were, you were never happy with how you created your me? And that you was committed more, to yeah. 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 Um, well, well, apparently, me's never really went away. Uh, a modder, hey, I'm heroic on Twitter, discovered that in Breath of the Wild, the NPCs actually use an ultimate format of Mies. So through modding, um, this user went through Breath of the Wild and they realized that they could turn their me characters with just some slight alterations into NPCs, working NPCs in Breath of the Wild. So this actually oh. confirms the longtime rumors that Mies were the main format for a lot of the characters within Breath of the Wild, which is really cool um, because it just shows that, you know when we, we copy our old homework? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nintendo just copied their own homework and it still yeah. works. So remember what you learn, kids, because it may come back and you could use it and sell lots of games and make lots of money. I, you know, I know there's some people out there that are like kind of upset about this because I think when we want a new game, you expect like new mechanics, sure. new work to kind of go into it. But I'm very hopeful because I've actually been longing for the return of Mies. And I feel that now modders have gotten their hands on making their Mies appear in game. Maybe Nintendo will, yes, probably put a stop and decease. Uh, but, but maybe Nintendo will allow us to customize characters in, in Breath of the Wild 2, being really hopeful, very tinfoil hat here. Always. It, every topic's got to yeah. have some sort of tinfoil hat wearing with the Akriyo. <laughs> um, uh, I, I Who think, would that be to the benefit of? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to pose the question. No. I was, I was going to ask Camille, like, how long until we get to the point where you say... When can I be next to Link in Breath of the Wild 2? Like, is this <laughs> yeah, a, like, a really long exactly conversation? I'm to say right now. Okay, I want to be see. next to Link. I want right. hey, I want to take photos with my Sheikah Slate of yeah. Link and me, just like, hey. Selfies. Right. Honestly, I feel like this is a really cool thing um, because didn't you guys think Nintendo was done with me? Yeah, kind of. yeah. They use them sparingly. Yeah. Like, the, like, you can still make them on Switch, but it's definitely not as prominent by yeah. any means as they were in like the Wii and 3DS era. I, I think uh, exactly, yeah. as a general topic, like talking about, so from my understanding, they used the models of some of like the, the already created Miis and yes. create, and like they just use the models for the NPCs in, in Breath of the Wild. Mm -hmm. So I think people would be surprised how often stuff like this happens uh, mm -hmm. in games, like reused assets and stuff like that. Almost, like pretty much every game has probably had it in some way. Um, whoa, 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 sorry. I'm this okay. Whoa. My tinfoil got a Blown signal, something just popped in my head. What if they're using armies? What if there's Our, a being watched? <laughs> We're being monitored. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo stole armies. <laughs> Maybe you are in the game already, Camille. Yeah, oh, Maybe you, you just haven't found yourself. your NPC. <laughs> Maybe, maybe. Um, but I, I feel like, honestly, am I the only one excited about this and the possibilities? Like, I know, Caboose, you said, like, you're like, yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> uh, no, Caboose, I know you said, like, this is not new. And it isn't new for games to reuse uh, their assets from previous games and just uh, put a skin over top of it. 
Mm. But the one thing I feel like I really want Nintendo to do, just because of how their art style works and, you know, the nostalgia of all their titles, we are always limited with customized options. Nintendo right. is very um, particular with how they want their gamers to experience a game and who they want the gamers to um, interact with. Yeah. But maybe it's time to bring back the era of the Wii, of the Wii U, where we have a place we meet. We have a plaza. Put some mini games in there. Put some, you know, nods to different titles, IPs, Breath of the Wild, Nintendo. I really feel there's a market for this. So I kind of like what you're saying because I do think Nintendo needs to, one, refine the OS of the Mm -hmm. Switch because it's very bland and boring. And they need a means of create, like, basically, con- like, giving people the the opportunity to create or build a community, yeah. which they don't really have. Uh, and Meverse served that as like a like really creative chat rooms and some really great memes came from that. Mm-hmm. So I I do think one they need to get like yeah that they need to build that too. They need to get some sort of like headset to controller support first and foremost. Yeah. So that they can start like harboring online yeah. communities in that way. And you can use me's and stuff. But uh, yeah, I, I think that's interesting that you say that because I agree that there's mm. a lot they could be doing that they're just not. Mm. Yeah, I, th- I think R- Riley's touching on something really important there is that Nintendo hasn't prioritized the online space whatsoever with the yeah. Switch. And Mii's are emblematic of that, where there's no point of bringing back a me or a community uh, like you see with me is without online support and yeah. i mean there's there's so many uh consumer friendly things with the ui that is just lacking i mean you look back at, on the wii u and the wii even turning it on you got the the sound effects and stuff mm. those are so familiar and you don't get that with the switch like there are basic stuff that that's missing there and i think until we get any of that like it's kind of like a non-conversation with me because there's no real point of them outside of them being, you know, kind of supported in Smash in some little way. Yeah. 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 Well, and that's, I think, the most confusing thing about this whole lack of Mii's on the Switch is the fact that you still see Mii's in, the, in Smash. Mm-hmm. Um, you still see, like, your little avatar that you could do. And it's just like we're supposed to forget that there was a me plaza. We're supposed right. to forget that there. Were, where are these me's living? Who are they interacting with? These are the questions <laughs> that we need to ask. Uh, but are they? Having, <laughs> yes. Okay. I, I haven't turned on my Wii for such a long time. My me's probably dead, trying to find food. Okay. Well, just- this is and this is something that Caboose in particular <laughs> is very well versed with because he's been asking those questions since 2017. Yeah. When yeah. the Switch first launched. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, of course. This has been on my mind. This yes. Whole time. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of like to think about the Mies. They're hanging out. It's just that they're hanging out in the gulag, kind of like Warzone. You know, they're going 1v1. <laughs> they're, they're seeing who the top dog is there. They're fighting over scraps until Nintendo lets them out. They're, you know, they're doing their thing. Oh my gosh. Um, we need, there needs to be a campaign here. Um, I think this is an issue we don't talk about enough. We don't talk about the welfare of the Mies and um, what the happened to them. Me. Yeah, after, yeah. <laughs> after you know, the yeah. we and you just said goodbye. Um, hashtag, but no, I, hashtag, hashtag free, free the me. <laughs> free the me. Hashtag free the me. Uh, starting this uh, 2021, it's going to be a full fledged campaign this is, going this over is the what year. We get. This is what we get <laughs> for buying into Camille's tinfoil hat theories. Like this is what we get for entertaining them ever so slightly. <laughs> then it then it gets to like this point, you know, where we're where we're wondering about me's in the gulag. Like what the what is happening? I mean, that is- would be an experience I would want to play. <laughs> How did we arrive here? Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I agree, though. They they need to figure out something bigger to do with them. Because currently they're there, but they don't do anything. (laughs) Roll that into a larger communal aspect, I'm all for it. If it's it's for Breath of the Wild 2 face, like, I don't know if I care. (laughs) Like, I just don't know if I care. Next to Link? Next to Impa? It would be a really cool, like, character mechanic if I could import that and make Link look like me. Right. Like that would be neat, oh, but oh, I don't, oh, oh. I don't really see a point in 
filling a village with friends or like celebrities that I've copied. You know, like I don't, I don't know if there's a huge benefit or, or demand for that. Okay, well, let's talk about what game it would work for. Animal Crossing. Sure. That would be cool. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. So you agree with me? I agree with you. Yeah, like I, I be feel careful, like Riley. <laughs> Riley, like, be careful. I, I don't want to see jet. Like I want to see meaningful implementation of it. Yeah. But I, I, I do okay. actually agree with you as well. I feel like we do need to see, unless we see um, a kind of refined online format mm. on the Nintendo Switch, I think, you know, Mies, unfortunately, will just have to sit in that gulag and wait to be revived. Um, <laughs> yeah, one day, one day, Mies, one day we're coming for you. Um, but I do feel like there's an opportunity there that is lost, especially with they're like Labo. I feel like there's a way that you could even integrate Mies with Labo. There's a way that you could even integrate Mies with Ring Fit. There's mm. so many of the, you know, weirder projects that Nintendo puts out there that are very Nintendo-esque where you don't know how long necessarily they will last. But I feel like the Mies could be those connecting factors. Actually, I'm going to add the me to the next uh, generation's icon, list of icons. There, it's a mascot. Not a chance. The me. He's going well, in. They got to go somewhere, okay? They got to go somewhere. Do they? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, the point of we're at the point of no return now. Like you I, know, I know. Camille is is too too locked she's into so, this she's idea. She's gone down too far. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a spiral. Uh, hey, Camille, you're me. too far gone right now. That's with me. Uh, Chris Zeiser uh, says, what about something like Connect Joyride, where you were playing as your me character? Right. That was cool. That was, that was that, like, that's that's cool. Yeah. Implementation. But like, I just don't like they have to rule out something meaningful at this point, I think. Yeah. And they just haven't done anything. Something like really meaningful. Don't do that. All right, guys. Uh, that's don't it for me. That. Uh, have a <laughs> Um, okay, Sonic games, the Olympic games, all yeah. the sports Nintendo game, like the Mario um, tennis golf. I think you could also implement Mies in there. In the crowd? No, as I mean, playable characters. Like, I only want. I only want it to be NPCs. I don't. You don't want to play I, as your Mies. I only want NPC Mies. I don't. Okay. Hey. Come here, they're way there's a, too passionate about this. No, I, I am. Come here, come here. It's bugged me for a really long time why everyone <laughs> acts like Mies didn't exist. Come here, there's a reason why even in Smash, the Mies exist, but only as a way for you to buy costumes to cover them up. There's, but that's like, a, no one cares about the Mies. <laughs> no, 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 but they do care because if you could, if you play different, okay, picture this. Yeah. You have picture your it. Mies, we have Great Online, we have our Me Plaza, you could even set up like your Mies in a nice little suite a la Animal Crossing style. Okay. Right. So you have your own. Imagine it's an achievement, a way to get achievements when you play your Mies in these different Nintendo um, titles. So whether it's Mario Golf, you get now a little figure you could put in your little house in the Mii Plaza. Okay, I mean, now now you're now you speak my language when you start talking about achievements. Now 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 you're on to something. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank you. If they put a real system, I'm telling you, the Mies will never die. Uh, Nintendo, please don't let the Mies die. We care about them. Well, I free, care about them. Free the so me, long. Nintendo. Free the me in inside of we. Okay. There we go. There we go. That's the nailed it. Anyways, I just thought that little bit of news was really cool. Um, and, you know, I feel like there's an opportunity, so I want to share with you that with you guys. Um, uh -huh. And now I know I'll never share anything. <laughs> 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 